Okay, hey guys, today we're going to talk about why Gyutaro is the weakest character in Demon Slayer game. Um, now that I have played around 200 hours of Gyutaro, um, I can say that I'm an authority on where he stands on the tier list, and I say for sure that Gyutaro needs buffs. He's probably around Yushiro tier right now, and um, yeah, it's just really hard to play this character. So let's talk about why he is weak and not very good at all. So, first of all, as you can see, when I do this advanced combo here that I've been labbing for many, many hours, it's what I would call optimal. You can see that any random hit that he gets doesn't kill the opponent. He can't do 100% off of any hit he does, so he needs damage buffs. Um, yeah, as you can see, in this combo, I'm doing basically as advanced as combos can get and I do about 10% damage, so his damage is really, really low. There's no point even bothering to try and hit the opponent because you're not going to do much damage. And uh, yeah, he's just a really low damage character and kind of needs to be buffed. Just, yeah, his damage is really, really low. And that just really holds him back all the time. No matter what combo you do, it's always going to do, look at this, like 10% damage. Really, really sad. Um, the next thing is that he... Look at this dash speed. This dash speed is um, not as fast as other characters, which means he is slow. And that is bad, so they should buff Gyutaro. He is... Um, yeah, his speed is slow, and so the only really way, way you can move around the screen is by mashing special moves, I've found. The only real way that I've been able to move around the screen is just by mashing special moves. Because as you can see, when I mash special moves, I get to hit the opponent, and it puts me on top of the opponent. But when I dash, um, sometimes uh, someone said it was slow, so that he's slow. So yeah, do special moves instead, and then that that's good. But they should buff Yutaro because uh, he's slow. Speaking of slow, look at this projectile. Look how slow this projectile moves across the screen. It moves so slow that sometimes it doesn't even get to the opponent. Look, sometimes it just stops. This, oh, look, that time it was fast enough to actually hit Sabito, but sometimes it's so slow that it doesn't even get to Sabito. It's so slow, and it stops. So this projectile is just completely useless, because it's moving so slow, the opponent can just, like, walk out of the way and not get hit by it, and then sometimes it even stops. So this projectile is completely useless, and is just never going to hit anyone, so that's another completely useless thing in his tool set. So he does no damage, he's slow, and his projectile is completely slow, and useless, I don't understand what they were thinking with this character. Another thing is his ultimate is completely pathetic. Oops, that's that's my, not my ultimate button. Um, his ultimate, look at this. Pathet- it doesn't go anywhere. It has literally zero range. Um, look, I'm throwing the button out. I'm pressing the ultimate button. Can you see? I'm doing the input, and it's not hitting the opponent from, like, most distances where I would normally press it. What's the point of having an invincible, half-health damaging special move if I can't just throw it out and hit the opponent whenever I want to mash it? What's the point of having an ultimate if I don't get to see the ultimate when I pre mash the button for ultimate in neutral? I don't understand. See, what's the point of me even pressing this button? Look at this. I can't just press it whenever I want and it hits the opponent. So what's the point of having it? I don't understand. It does, like... It has basically no use. Speaking of useless things, also, look at this grab. What is the point of this grab? It goes absolutely nowhere. You're never going to hit anyone with this grab, so there's no point in ever using it. Like, what? who is this going to hit? It goes, like, nowhere. I prefer more complex characters, like Enmu, where you can throw out a grab at any distance, and it'll hit. And finally, one more thing that's really weak about Gyutaro is like all of his attacks in his attack move list, all of his attacks can be parried or armored through or DP'd. So like what's the point of ever attacking if the opponent can just parry through it? How do I know when I press my buttons that the opponent isn't just going to hit me and parry through them? That makes his entire move list completely useless because you never know if the opponent's just going to parry. And look at that! When the opponent hits you, you take damage. And I think I think all of this just makes him a really weak character. What's the point on pressing his buttons if he has really low damage, 
He he's he's slow. He's slow. His projectile is not good. It's slow. His grab will never hit anyone. It's useless. And his ultimate. Half the time when you throw it out, look, most of the places on the screen, it won't hit. And whenever you do anything, the opponent is just gonna parry you, so you can't really do anything. Because look, I press buttons, the opponent parries me. So yeah, I really think Yutaro is possibly the worst character in the game, or maybe somewhere tied with uh, Yushiro, because I don't know what they were thinking designing this character. They didn't really think it through very much, he was clearly rushed. And uh, yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, but Gyutaro is the worst character in the game, and buff Gyutaro. I'm a Gyutaro main, and I say buff Gyutaro.